Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to take on a subject that I think you guys will find helpful, and that is, what do we do when we have a pressure vacuum breaker that's giving us chatter? Now this would really pertain to a pressure vacuum breaker that we've just commissioned, say a brand new installation, or even after uh, putting it back in for the irrigation season. Once in a while, under low flow conditions, we will get a little chatter out of a PVB. So to give you an indication of what's really going on, when we recommission the valve, we typically have a low flow irrigation system, for example, there's air entrained within the valve. And to give you an explanation of why, it'd probably take me a month. I really don't know why, but I do know that air in valves typically causes problems. And again, in the case of a pressure vacuum breaker, many times it can make it want to chatter or pulsate a little bit. So when we, we recommission the valve, or again after an initial installation, what we'll want to do is go downstream of the valve and open up a lot of demand. In other words, let's really induce a high flow through the valve. Now I know sometimes that that's very difficult to do. You may have irrigation system where you can only open one zone at a time. Typically, those zone valves do have a means of opening themselves up manually. They'll have a manual operator on them. If that's the case, open up a couple of them, perhaps even more. What we're trying to do is to get a real high flow through the valve to shake loose all the air bubbles and get the air out of it. Now, in those cases where you really don't have a means of opening up more than one zone valve at a time, what I'll recommend is to go ahead, turn on a zone that has the greatest flow rate, and while you're doing that, open up your test cock your downstream test cock, and that'll give you some additional flow. By doing that, once again, what we're doing is we're shaking all of the air out of that valve. And typically, air entrained in the valve is what'll give us a, a little pulsation or even a little chatter under a low flow. Now, what I've described here is, again, typically for a valve that's in good working condition, uh, say we've just bought a brand new one, or again, we're recommissioning that valve uh, at, at the beginning of the irrigation system. In the case of an older valve, it very well could be that we have worn parts internally. If that's the case, you'll want to look at your internal components and anything that's worn inside the valve, we're going to want to replace. For all of the Zern Wilkins valves, repair kits are readily available. Uh, if you can't find them, I would strongly encourage you to call us at Zern Wilkins and we'll direct you to uh, a wholesaler where you can procure them. But nevertheless, any worn component should be replaced. If we do replace worn components, once again, we're going to want to do the same thing. Induce a high flow through the valve once you get all the water turned back on and shake all of the air out of that valve because, again, that air can cause pulsation and chatter. So in the event that you have any questions about what we've talked about, certainly feel free to contact us here at Zern Wilkins. We're happy to talk to you. We can give you additional guidance. We'll do anything that we can to make sure that you're very happy with the product and that it works exactly to your expectations.